there are just entire cabbage leaves, kimchi cabbage leaves in it. It looks and smells fantastic. Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Bangkok, Thailand at the airport now and Ying and I are on our way to Incheon International Airport to Seoul, Korea and we are going to be there for the next seven days along with Ying's two sisters. We're going to be sightseeing and eating and I am going to be vlogging. And then after that we're going to travel from Seoul to Jeonju which is in kind of the south of South Korea. So stay tuned for lots of vlogs coming from Korea and lots of Korean food. Ying, are you excited to go to Korea? Our flight leaves at a little after midnight at 12.10 and I think it should be about a six hour flight. We're gonna arrive early in the morning into Seoul. I fell asleep before we took off and it is now morning and they have just come around with breakfast. We have just landed at Incheon International Airport. Welcome to South Korea. Oh, that was some cold air. It is 7.30 a.m. in the morning. That was a good flight with Korean air. Before we leave the airport, we just bought these little cards. It's called T-Money and you can use it for the subway, you can use it for the train, you can use it for the bus, I think. And you can buy that T-Money card at any of the convenience stores. There are a couple of them right here as you arrive in the airport. just arrived to Seoul Station. That ride took about one hour. We are gonna be staying at a Airbnb that we rented, uh, but we cannot check in until 3 p.m. So it is now about 10 a.m. We're gonna look for a locker so that we can walk around and then after that come back for our bags and then we'll check in later this afternoon. This is by far the most high-tech locker system I've ever seen in my life. The entire block of lockers is all controlled from this computer screen. So we'll take, I think we'll take this one. Anyway. Oh, that's awesome. And it opens. Oh. Success with the locker. I haven't really had a chance yet to do any research, so we're just gonna walk around, try to find something quick to eat, and then hopefully throughout today I'll be able to do more research on where to eat and what to do. Oh, this is a good looking restaurant right here. I think this is where we're eating right here. Yeah. All the menu is in Korean, but they had this one little printed off paper that was in English, and it said they serve potato and pork bone soup, and they had all different sizes. We ordered the large size for all four of us. Oh, I gotta have a piece of kimchi right now. I love kimchi. There are just entire cabbage leaves, kimchi cabbage leaves in it, big pork bones, lots of potatoes, and a bunch of leaves on top. It looks and smells fantastic. She gave, she gave us some scissors as well, so I think we might 
chop up everything into bite-sized pieces before we start eating. This is just a beautiful hot pot. There's so much kimchi in here and just giant pork bones. Am I hungry? Oh, it's really good. That's like, that is like pork kimchi soup. You can taste a little bit of the sourness from all that kimchi, and mostly it's just pretty porky. And there are just gigantic bones in here, so I think is there, there's not a whole lot of meat, but there's a little bit of meat. And let me take some of that kimchi as well, put it onto my plate. Oh, I gotta eat some of that kimchi with rice. That is a lot of hot kimchi. Mm. Oh, 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 that just look, oh, that just slides off the bone. Looks extraordinarily tender. And eat that with a piece of kimchi as well. That is so tender that you don't even need to chew. You don't need teeth for that meat. So that's just like the, the extremely tender result of boiling pork for a very, very long time. I actually forgot that potato is one of the main ingredients in this dish, but there are some big chunks of potato. But I think the potato has sort of, um, parts of the potato have slightly disintegrated into the soup, so that's that's kind of what's thickening it. I noticed kind of a, a little bit of a starchiness in the soup along with that pepper um, red chili broth. Let me take another bite, and I wanna have one of those leaves that was sitting on top. I think that is one right there. That leaf has a wonderful slight licorice flavor to it. I think I think it might be similar to shiso leaf or sesame leaf, almost like a, a clove and licorice anise flavor to it. They have a sauce on the table. I have no idea what it is, but I'm gonna try it. Kind of looks like it needs to be stirred up though because there's some some different layers of ingredients in it. All right, and let me taste some of this on a piece of kimchi with some rice. Mmm, mmm, that's wasabi. Mmm. Oh, that's wonderful. It's kind of like a a sweet wasabi sauce. Oh, that's good. That goes immediately up your nose. Mmm. I'm gonna put on a little bit of wasabi, oh yeah. Mm. This has been outstandingly delicious. We are getting to the bottom of our pan here and look at how thick and how wonderful the broth is at the bottom. I think that's a combination of some of the pork fat plus some of the like collagen and marrow that's come out of the bones from being boiled for so long and maybe a little bit of that potato. That is incredible. Oh, it is thick and hearty and rich. That is intensely flavorful. That was a truly incredible first meal here in Seoul this trip. And this is a really good restaurant. It's, yeah, basically right across the street from Seoul Station. Amazing, I'm feeling extremely good after that. And that is one of my favorite ways to find restaurants, just walking around and seeing a place that looks good. We're back at Seoul Station now and it is cherry blossom season. So Ying's sister searched for somewhere that is good for seeing the cherry blossoms. We're on our way there now. We got off the subway at National Assembly and then took exit number one. And after such a good lunch, I'm really tired. So we're just gonna walk around here for a little bit and then probably head back to Seoul Station and by then it should be time for us to check into our Airbnb. They are blossoming in full 
fully whitish pink flowers covering the trees. It is really nice to walk through. Oh, and they have lots of snacks too, like cotton candy. And I smelled some grilled chicken back there as well. We made it back to Seoul Station, picked up our bags, and we are walking around this area looking for our apartment. We had a little bit of an adventure as soon as we arrived. I was typing in the keypad the code, and we were met by a couple of Seoul tourist police. And they said that this building is not uh, recognized or registered as a tourist lodging facility. It's a, it's a business building and an office building. And so they said it doesn't have the proper insurance that it needs to house people, especially tourists. Uh, but the police were really nice and they gave us their number to say to make sure we call them if anything bad happens. But we are here now and it's pretty nice. It's a big spacious room and then there are two bedrooms and quite a few beds so it can accommodate a lot of people. I fell into a deep sleep for about an hour. Just woke up. I kind of only feel about half alert right now. But we are walking outside and looking for something to eat for dinner now. And it just looks like a nice friendly little place. But they have no English menu so we were just ordering off the different photos that they have here and we'll see what we ordered. To start off, we got a whole pile of fried chicken. I think it's a whole chicken that's chopped up into pieces and then deep fried to golden brown. It's, it smells so good. And she told us to eat it with two different dipping sauces. One is just salt, and then the other is like a chili looking sauce. I'm gonna try it with just a little bit of salt so I get the full, full fried chicken flavor potential. Wow. That is unbelievably juicy. I'm just absolutely gushing with chicken juices. And then that skin on the top and that brown golden layer is so crispy. I love it just with that little bit of salt just to complement it. It is a pretty good sized plate. And at first I thought they were noodles, but I think they are just bean sprouts. All, yeah, they're all bean sprouts. Are there any noodles down here? I don't think so, but then just a mix of seafood. There's crab in here. There are mussels. There are octopus. There's shrimp um, and lots of green onions and I think this is just a like a blend of seafood and bean sprouts and and chili. We grab one of those shrimp. Mm. They are very crisp and have that mm, have kind of an earthy taste to them. Okay. I tried to bite them in half and. We just gotta eat the whole thing. A little bit chewy. I just got a bowl of the soup version now. I think it's all the same ingredients. The bean sprouts, the shrimp, the mussels, all the same seafood. But this is a, a soup instead of stir fry. Mm. Yeah, it has that exact, pretty much the same taste, except one is stir fried dry, whereas this one is the soup. But this one has more of a, a shrimpy taste to it. It tastes like dry shrimp mixed with dry chilies. Another thing that I've noticed in both of these different dishes are these little things. And I have no idea what they are, but they are very common in both of these dishes scattered throughout both of them. I'm gonna try one. <laughs> Whoa. I don't even know if I know what just happened. It's really hard. I thought it was like a like a nut or a seed. But then I bit harder and it just exploded with kind of some kind of salty juice. A little bit seafoody. And now now it's just like a really very, very kind of rubbery texture. 
What is that? I think it's some kind of seafood. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That was another great meal in Seoul. We're gonna walk over to Seoul Station now and catch the subway to Myeongdong, which is a big shopping district, and walk around there for a little while. There are lots and lots of clothes here in both indoor shops as well as a lot of street shopping as well. You'll find all sorts of things, especially a lot of cosmetic stores and right now the girls went in to buy some cosmetics. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog for today right now. It has been a great day, a really, really long day that started last night coming from Bangkok. Uh, we arrived to Seoul. Delicious food. I especially loved our first meal just walking into that random restaurant and having that pork bone rib kimchi soup That was incredibly good. Thank you all very much for watching this video Please remember to give it a thumbs up leave a comment below make sure you subscribe for lots of videos Lots more food videos, and I will see you for the next video Let me try one more It feels like a hard nut or a cheese.